So, you're a beginner to training and you don't know where to start. Well, I'm here for you. What's going on guys and welcome back to another video. Now, in today's video, as you can see about the title and what I said before, we're going to be going over everything training, yeah, diet, exercise, mindset involved as well, everything like that. But, as always, before we do get into the video, if you are not already, don't forget to subscribe and leave a like on this video for more daily self-improvement and fitness content just like this one. And as you can probably tell already, there won't be any cuts in this video, like edits, just because I won't have time to edit this video because I'm going away tomorrow. Now, for the next, maybe I think it's two weeks, two, maybe a week and a half, there won't be any edits and thumbnails, just because I won't have any internet for the week to upload videos, but I still wanna upload videos for you guys. So yeah, there won't be any you mean, edits or cuts in the video, but I'm sure you guys will be alright with it. But the first thing I'm gonna go over with, yeah, beginners starting training is the actual exercise. Yeah, the actual workouts. Now, the only way you build muscle is to put the muscle under tension. So say you're doing a bicep curl, for example, you have to actually put the muscle under tension to make it grow. Doing this with your biceps isn't gonna make it grow without weight. But if you had good weight with good form, you're going to make them grow if you go to failure. Now, if you're a beginner, you might not understand this, and that's okay. I'm sorry, this is kind of a bit weird for me because there's no cuts and edits in this video. So if I stutter, just bear with it. But the only way you build muscle is to put the muscle under tension, yeah? Whatever exercise you're doing, yeah? Bench press, squats, for example, anything like that. And then, I'm gonna go over diet later, but, now, there is some important things I have to cut out from background noise. I will cut them out. I will have like 10 minutes to edit. But, I have a free workout plan below. Now, that will take you through everything you need to know about fitness. Yeah, the supplements you need to have, like the exercise you need to do. But the main thing you've got to remember is if you're trying to train for strength, so you're trying to train for strength, like strength, say or how much weight you can lift, you want to lift in a lower rep range. My, my recommendation for you would be that one to five rep range. Now, if you're trying to build muscle, you're trying to get size, I recommend training to that five reps, to that about 20 reps. More so five to 12 reps though, for building muscle. Now endurance, so this is better or better for most athletes, I would recommend doing endurance training and that's like 20 plus. That's training the muscle to failure. Now, for, again, strength, you wanna go lower reps. For building muscle and hypertrophy and physique mostly, like the look, you wanna go into that middle and then for endurance, you wanna go over 20 reps. This is just for example. But in my opinion, most of your workouts should have a mixture of both unless you're training for a specific, for either for strength, hypertrophy or endurance. But if you're getting into training just because you want to get healthier and you want to become more athletic, I recommend starting your workouts with strength training, then going into more hypertrophy and muscle building exercises, and then moving on to endurance at the end of your workouts. This is what my workouts tend to look like because I'm training to look good, of course, but I'm also training to become more athletic for my sport, like basketball. So, whatever you're doing, if you're training for strength, Make most of your workouts the lower rep range. If you're training for muscle building, try and make it in that five to 12 rep range. Endurance, 20 plus. That's my best recommendation for you. And again, I have a free workout plan in the description below. But the second thing we're gonna go over today is the diet. Probably, I would say, more important than the actual exercises you're doing. Now, the most important part with diet and the most important aspect of it is your calorie intake. If you want to gain weight, you want to eat over the, your calorie maintenance. That's eating more calories than your body needs. Now, to lose weight, you need to be eating under your calorie maintenance. That's eating less calories than your body needs. That is the only way to either gain weight or lose weight. Now, some people have the misconception about, okay, if I eat a pizza, I'm going to put on heaps of weight. That is simply not true. Even though a pizza has a lot of calories in it for its size, you're not going to gain weight from that pizza. You're going to gain it from the calories if you're over your calorie maintenance. It's, it's simply calories in, calories out. 
So when you move your body, you burn calories. When you eat, you take calories in. That's why it's highly recommended if you want to lose weight, to eat lots of high fiber and low calorie foods. Fruits, vegetables, whole grains. They're probably your best bet, your best friend if you're trying to lose weight because they're high in fiber. And what does fiber do? It keeps you more full. Yeah, it keeps you more full and it gives you the energy throughout the day to keep moving your body. Again, calories in, calories out. If you're moving your body, you're burning calories. You're not burning fat. I wanna say that. You're not burning fat when you move your body. You're burning calories. And same goes for gaining weight. To gain weight, you wanna be in a cal you wanna eat a calorie surplus. That's eating more calories than your body needs. Now, there's two ways to go, up, go about bulking. The way I look at it, there's the clean bulk, and then there's the dirty bulk. Now the clean bulk is healthy food. Most of the time, a clean bulk is in a slight calorie surplus. Yeah, you're eating lots of lean meats, lean protein, yeah, not lots of fruits and vegetables. And then you're over this side, the dirty bulk, and that's where you can go for the pizza. Yeah, the pizza's high in calories. If you're trying to gain weight, a lot of weight and a lot of strength, I, would, I wouldn't recommend a dirty bulk, I'd never do. <laughs> but it's up to you. It's really up to you. The dirty bulk does have its benefits, but it's not very good for your health, bro. It's really not good for your health. But a dirty bulk doesn't necessarily mean just unhealthy food. You can do, like, the way I look at it, the dirty bulk is kind of like free land. You still eat your fruits and vegetables, but if you see junk food, you can eat it. On a clean bulk, it's the opposite. If you see junk food, you should not eat it. That's the way I look at it. Personally, and my best recommendation for everyone is to start on a clean bulk. But the only time I would recommend someone to do a dirty bulk is when and if they need to gain a lot of strength in a shortened period of time. Or they are severely underweight for health problems. That's the only time I recommend it. But when you're bulking, you do have more, what? Well, let's say you have more leeway, I should say, in eating whatever you want because you're trying to gain weight. It doesn't really matter. But if you're clean bulking, I highly, highly recommend staying in that slight calorie surplus so you don't gain any fat, more like the littlest minimum amount of fat possible with the muscle gain as well. That's my best recommendation. And also, you wanna be eating lots of protein. Yeah, lean meats, Greek yogurt, eggs. They're like the staple bodybuilding foods. Then your spinach. Yeah, your spirulina is actually high in protein too. There's a lot of high protein vegetables out there. So I would recommend, even if you're trying to lose weight or gain weight, eat a substantial amount of protein. Now this is usually two times per kilo of body weight. I'm pretty sure that's how it goes. So I weigh about 58 kilos. I'm not gonna touch on this too much, but I weigh 58 kilos. So I should be eating about 120 grams of protein per day. On average, that's that's just what I do, and that's what is best for gaining muscle. But if you're losing weight, you probably have to do less. But the last thing we're gonna be going over is the mindset involved. Now, I would say this is as important as the nutrition and also the diet. Because, no, I'm not, what am I saying? The diet and the exercise. Why? because you have to have a good mindset to stay consistent with your workouts. Yeah, if you're not working out, you're not going to gain muscle. It's as simple as that. So, my best recommendation for you to stay consistent and have a good mindset throughout training and your diet is to always remember why you started doing what you're doing. Yeah, if you started it to maybe get healthier, just get healthier. You started it to get stronger. You started it to look better. Always remember why you started when you feel that procrastination coming in. You wanna eat that junk food if you're trying to lose weight. You must always remember it. And always remember how you feel after you do something wrong. So say it might be a missed workout. How will you feel if you miss that workout? How will you feel? I would say shit. Yeah, I would feel like crap. And then look over that side. There's junk food. How will I feel if I eat that junk food? Not good at all. You wouldn't feel good at all. Especially if you're trying to lose weight, you wouldn't. Of course, I'm that type of person to say you can have a cheat meal, a cheat day every now and again. But if it wasn't planned, don't eat it. That's my rules. You feel me? That's my rules. If it's not planned, do not eat it, especially if you're trying to lose weight. If you're bulking, then you can have some other rules, but that's just my rules. So, always remember why you started. Sorry for the 
kind of, it's, this video is kind of all over the place. I have no cuts in this video. That's why. But you have to stay consistent. It's the most important thing. If you're not consistent, you're not going to get anywhere. So always remember why you started and think. I know I'm all about staying in the present moment, but when it comes to training and nutrition, think in the future. How will you feel if you skip this workout? Eat this pizza, eat this ice cream. How will you feel? But guys, that's pretty much it. Again, with exercise, you want to be putting the muscle under tension as much as possible. Yeah, if you're trying to train for strength, one to five reps. Uh, hypertrophy and muscle building, five to 12 reps. This is, these are just on average. You can always gain more muscle in that one to five rep range. You can always gain strength in that 10 plus rep range. It's just for the best results possible for what you're training for. And for endurance, I would say anywhere 15 plus reps. Now, for the diet, if you're trying to gain weight, calorie surplus. Trying to lose weight, calorie deficit. Now, you wanna be eating a lot of protein, especially if you're trying to prioritize muscle growth. It doesn't necessarily mean that much if you're trying to lose weight, unless you're trying to do like a body recom, I think it's like recomposition or something. We are trying to lose weight, but also build muscle. You can also do that too. And then for the mindset, you have to always remember why you started. Why did you start? And how will you feel if you miss this workout? How will you feel if you stop training? How will you feel if you eat that junk food? And guys, I just want to say it, be patient. Please be patient. The results will not come in three weeks. Yeah, I was watching a video the other day and so many people at the start of the new year, which is the new year's in about a week's time, drop off in about two weeks of training because they don't see any results. I can tell you this right now, it will probably take you about two months to see actual results. So stay patient, please. It's your best bet. So guys, that's the video. Again, I'm really sorry about how this video is not as high quality as it usually would be, but in about a week's time, the video will be back to normal. So stay tuned for that. I'm sorry there's no edits or anything, but I'll grab the information you guys need. And the next, I think maybe the next, because I'm trying to upload daily. I'm going away tomorrow, so and I'm gonna try and upload daily videos. So. Let me know what you wanna see in these daily videos. They're gonna be mostly mindset and wellness related because I can't really do any fitness stuff out there. So whatever you want me to talk about, please let me know in the comments. And also let me know how I can improve these videos because I really want to do more of me just in, the, in front of the camera without any cuts and edits so I can improve my speaking. So please let me know how I can improve that. And don't be afraid of what I'll think. Please let me know what I can improve on. I know what I need to I know what I need to improve on, as you just saw I started. But please let me know because I really want to get more into this so I can do more stuff with speaking. But anyways, guys, that's the video. I hope you did enjoy, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. And also, free workout plan below. Free workout plan and one-on-one -on -one calls are below. So go ch go check them out now. But guys, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. I'll get better at that for sure.